Great problem. Sorry for my German. Also, no, it's in the Weltmeister. I was great at the time. I hear Mikey right there. Yeah. And where's my team? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a big hooray for Tom Schwartz's team! Hooray! Come on, boys and girls! Yeah. Are we early or? Yeah. <laughs> Just getting you all warmed up, you see? <laughs> Ten minutes. No, no, we do it at home. It's better. Ten minutes, we don't need anybody else. Russell, I see you there, Mush. How are you? Yeah, good. See you there, Rob. Who else can I say? Christian, Big Kev, Shane and all the boys. Should we sing a song, Tom? Oh, you are a very good singer. I'm not so, sorry. Um, what for song? Any requests? Tim, where are you? I'm yours. I'm yours. I love this song. Any requests? Marvin Gaye. I'm yours. <laughs> I am yours. Who sings it? Um, Mar um, not Bruno Mars. Shut your mouth for a smack in. Coogan, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to come up here? Just say a few words. Is there anybody in the crowd who's got enough minerals to come up here and have a few words on the mic? You're more than welcome. Stage is all mine. Come on. <laughs> Anybody? Nobody? What about you? I'll be up there in a minute. We start at noon. Come on. I don't really need to work today. You can take my time. Where's Bob Arrow? Hey. Hey. Oh, Bob's always got something to say. Hello. Bob Frank, get your ass up here. Come on. Come on, boys. Let's get the party started. Can we have a big round of applause for Frank Warren and Bob Arrow? They made this possible. Come on. They brought the two best looking heavyweights to Las Vegas. Hey, me and Tom. I'll just get these two on mic and switch it on. Seems like I'm doing ESPN's job. Where are you? First of all, good, Bob, this is Tom. Nice to meet you, sir. That's a microphone. Frank, this is Tom. Tom, Frank. This is the takeover. Press conferences will never ever be the same after Tyson Fury. The what? takeover. We right? don't have to wait for time, do we? No, what the hell? Time is all ours. I create time. All right, who got a question out there? <laughs> Go on, Bob. Now we're going to punish the latecomers, right? So. Is there anyone with a question for Bob? Give me, give me a question. Who has a question? Where did Gareth? Where did Gareth? Gareth has questions. What do you think about the dress of Tyson Fury? What, what do you think about the dress of Tyson Fury? Well, I think he's starting a clothing line that's going to be <laughs> open in shops all over Las Vegas. There you go, you were here first. Right. Thank you. Michelle, you must have a question. I not found me. Just shout it out. I not found me. You're not on the No. This is um, all the bare knuckle champions from the past, from hundreds of years ago. So a lot of us are on here because we wasn't even alive. Well, wow. it was homage. Pay homage to the greats of the past. It is great to see the video from. No, that is terrific. That is really terrific. It goes on sale at two hundred ninety-nine dollars. <laughs> and you buy one, and you get one free. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, where's the questions from the crowd? Bob. Bob, you promoted Ali. Anything about Tyson reminds you of Ali? Anything? <laughs> yeah, look, let me tell you. The two guys that Tyson Fury remind me of are Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. They were people persons first. They talked to the people, directly to the people, over the head of you writers, right? Right to the people. Now, I also remember great heavyweights from Germany, like Axel Schultz. I brought in Axel Schultz to fight George Foreman because I wanted to give George Foreman an easy fight right here in this building. And <laughs> Axel Schultz almost beat him, right? Axel Schultz is here. Yeah, he has Axel Schultz. Here. Yeah, Axel. Come on up. Yeah. Come on up. 
Come here. Come here. And Carl Mildenberger. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any other heavyweights in the room who want to just come and join us on the stage? Feel free. <laughs> Has anyone got a question for Frank? Considering he's looking dapper on today. It's very Vegas, Frank, what you're wearing. You and Bob have come dressed similar. I asked him to wear this one. Alright, here's Axel Schultz. Axel! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Axel Schultz, a lot of people say, beat George Foreman that night. <laughs> Axel, you want to say a few no, things? No, say it twice. Come on, Axel, don't be shy. I love you too. <laughs> you say I love all of Las Vegas. No, this is really great. Look, we have in boxing a tremendous global sport. We have great, great young men from all over the world, from Germany, from the United Kingdom, and it's absolutely great that boxing has all of these great athletes. And the guy who is gonna really lead this sport into a new dimension, just the way Ali did in his time, and then later George, is the man on my right, Tyson Fury. Because Tyson Fury is a people person, and everybody around the world is gonna pay attention. Question for Frank. Um, Frank, obviously you've got two other heavyweights as well who are right. Shut up, Russell. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> continue, continue. Frank, um, you've, obviously you've got Tyson Fury and obviously being promoted over here by, by Bob as well on the ESPN, but you've got two other heavyweights in the UK, Daniel Dubois and Nathan Gorman, about to fight soon. And we've got five of the top ten, arguably, heavyweights in the world coming up in the next year. Um, is it, is it easier bringing the heavyweights to America now than it's been in the past? Three times. Obviously, they've got to do what they're doing. Really? Start off like Tyson did and the one world title. But this is the next step. Place. Any athlete, any film star, any uh, pop star to make it big, they've got to come to the States. That's why he's here. Brand, Brand Fury. He's here and he's going to be. He's taking the place over, there's no doubt about it. Do you think he can be a bigger star in the United States than, than he is in the UK? Well, of course he can. The population is much bigger here than in the UK. Everybody in, the, in England knows him, or the UK know who Tyson is. In Europe, they know who he is. This is the next, next conquest. And Saturday is the big launch pad. Yeah, he, did, he did fantastic in his last fight on uh, Showtime when he. Uh, got robbed against Beyonce Wilder, but he's here now, so on the biggest sports network in the world, biggest one in the States, and it's the start of the campaign to turn him into be not just be the most well known and the biggest head world's well known heavyweight head, to be an absolute crossover star for endorsements and so what could be queuing up for him. Final one for you, Tyson. Um, you obviously won the world title from Vladimir Klitschko, became the number one in the sport, in the heavyweight division, the number one in the sport, really. Um, but obviously, things you'd said and the way you felt, the, the, the depression you felt in, you fell into, it meant you didn't really get celebrated in the UK as you might have been. Does it feel different in America and you can create a different part here? You know, I come top once before, long time out of the ring, but I'm back. Can't believe that he's back, can't believe that he's back. Fury's back at number one. Back at number one with Ring Magazine. It's been a while, only took me a year from getting from nothing back to the top, which I'm very proud of. Very proud of. So, thank you very much for your questions. Always got something to say. Something always good between me and you. I feel a vibe going on, you know? Connection. <laughs> Where's Ben? Is he somewhere? There he is. <laughs> Alright, Tyson, we're going to start. Alright, now we're going to do a boring press conference. 